All right, it's game two. Let's see if I can redeem myself a little bit. Okay. I think I'll just match his pawn. Get my bishop out. Interesting. Um, I think I actually just had a free pawn. I should have noticed that. Oh, no, now I have a free pawn. Maybe I just go for this, huh? Oh, sure, so I'm not defending here. He has a free pawn technically, too, but I think I'll just block this. So he's up a piece already. Oh, sure, and he's pointing at this. I'll block his queen. Now he's defending. Man, I am just getting cheesed by the queens today. might go here doubling this up um I mean I'm just getting pummeled by queen cheese today Is there any hope for me to win here? I guess this is probably the only move to block his queen from coming here. Maybe I go back here. Or here. Maybe that was the move, moving the bishop back to protect f7. Why did he back out of that? I need to be mindful of this. Oh, I just had a free queen and I lost it. I had a free queen. Guys, I had a free lunch and I lost it. This is why my rating is the uh, reason it is. <laughs> Not my brightest moment. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I can't. Anyways, mistakes happen, right? How did I not see this? <laughs> Anyways. 
see if we can make some progress. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. He can have, if he wants to get my bishop, maybe I get redemption. No, my queen didn't get redeemed. I'll move the bishop back to a central square. Hopefully we can all just have a good laugh about that. Uh, let's see. This is protected, this is protected, this is protected. Maybe I'll just double protect this square. E5. Hmm. I did have check there. I don't think it would have done anything though. <clears throat> Maybe I just try to get up a piece and take one of his knights. Force his pawns into a weird position. I think this is reasonable. He has one weak pawn here. Okay, so that's a pretty good move for me because he put his knight into a really bad spot. Maybe I'll just centralize the rook. His rook is really weak here. I mean, I imagine if I can get my queen here, I can do some damage this way. Just defend this pawn. Oh, uh, this square looks safe. Even if he moves his pawn, I can just snag his rook here. I'm just going for his undefended pieces. That's really all I'm after at the moment. I think that's okay. Even if I move here, I mean, this is defended. He can check me again, but I can run. He should move his rook. I think his rook is in bigger danger. Uh, this looks like a free piece. Another free pawn here. My queen's going on a bit of a side quest. I don't like it, but free pieces are free pieces. Hopefully I can redeem myself after that queen blunder from earlier. That'd be nice. Okay, he saw that. I need to get out of here. I do have check here. Uh, I need to like bully his queen away. Hmm. 
I think I have enough going on here to where I can offer this trade. I want to just get my queen back to safety more than anything. I don't really like the position there. I'm okay to start trading too. I mean, I'm up a rook, which is pretty big. I don't think he has any more undefended pieces. Not at the moment, at least. Okay. Um, this is another free rook. His rook is basically stuck. Okay. Um, I'm actually totally fine if he takes my rook here. Now I get a bishop out of this as well. Let's check. That's fine. I don't think I'm in any harm's way. Oh, okay. Whew. That was a GG. This is why we never resign even after we make horrible, horrible, horrible mistakes. Let's just look at that position one more time and just let's let's appreciate this uh this move here. I know what you guys are gonna say. Don't worry, I see it too. But um let's see, so how did we win this? So he had a giant advantage, basically the entire game. I'm surprised this was a great move. This doesn't seem like a great move. Sure. Well, it looks like he didn't really play the great follow-up after that anyway. I think what I think what got me back in the game was just recognizing the fact that the pawn on f3 and the rook on a1 were undefended. He basically kind of left them hanging. And um, I think capturing the knight here on f3 with the bishop was also the play because it caused his uh, pawns to stack, which ultimately let me set this up. Um, and then him putting his bishop back here on c1 was also a bit odd. Um, it sort of made it really easy to, easy to capture after the check here so that's why i kind of felt like i had to stack the pawns or stack his pawns in order to get some kind of um advantage going so moving here was the play moving to h5 was the play with the queen i guess i was just so focused on grabbing the um hanging the grabbing the hanging pieces that I didn't really notice that. I mean, really, this is this is his blunder for not moving his rook out of the way. He should have noticed that. So, but I'm not one to really talk about not noticing things, obviously. Yeah. So basically, the favor swung in my advantage after this move. So. Cool. Well, that was a good game. Huge blunder in the middle, but managed to get the advantage back at the end. And a little bit better than my first game. And I'm glad I didn't get completely cheesed by queen stuff here. So that was fun. Thanks for watching.